My name is Emily Moyes. I'm from New Liskert, Ontario. The competition I am entering for this weekend is to basically prepare me for an actual real competition. My name is Sierra Manzer and I'm from Ottawa. I've always loved just doing Olympic lifts and my goal has only been to get stronger and to PR and lift heavier. If I don't qualify, I know exactly what I need to work on the next time and I'll definitely come out stronger. Having only been lifting for four weeks, I need to work on my technique. When they talk about doing a clean and jerk, they normally talk about just doing a split jerk or a push jerk. For me, that has been like a crazy struggle. My push jerk is like maybe 135 pounds. And last week, we actually, they were like, well, you have really great mobility, let's try a squat jerk. So two weeks before the comp, they changed my whole programming and I'm no longer split jerking at all and I'm squat jerking. I grew up in a very small town. Being gay was, it was frowned upon, so sports and lifting was kind of a gateway to clear that out of my head. The stress that came from it, the anxiety. When I was 15, I struggled, well, up until now, with an eating disorder. I've also been diagnosed with PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, from what happened to me when I was younger. The reason why I lift is when you're growing up and something defeats you and breaks you down, you are honestly just looking for your own strength and looking for something that will make you stronger and give you a positive look on life. That is weightlifting for me. I need to work on everything. <laughs> um, I'm starting to get better at my clean jerks, which was one thing that I hated doing because I wasn't very good at it when I first started, and now I'm getting pretty good at it. However, I need to be able to push more weight so that I can become qualifiable for winter lift. I'm hypermobile and I have ligamentous laxity. So hypermobile means that I can dislocate pretty much very easily. Uh, ligamentous laxity means that my ligaments and tendons are pretty much just like Gumby. Tuesday when I woke up and figured out that me falling on my butt a few times on Monday kind of dislocated my sacrum. When I fell, one side elevated in my hip and then rotated inward. So I have not been able to lift since Monday. I tried to lift and it actually got worse. Today, all I've done is heat and ice and take a lot of painkillers and hope that I'll be able to lift on Saturday. Today I feel really good. I'm pretty confident that I'll be making my lift. Um, so basically we are being weighed in for the weight category that we're lifting in. So if we're overweight, we have an hour to lose that weight that's over the weight category. And if not, then we're good to go. <laughs> Like going yeah. for a run, just take off all your clothes. Seriously, I wait Julia's done it. Time. Okay, is that it? It's not a big deal. It's just Heather. She'll right. I've got, I've got gum. Just go get naked. Come on, get naked. How's it going? Good. I made it. <laughs> Good for you. Did you get naked? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I actually, I woke up this morning and I was like rolling around in bed and I'm like doing some movements and I was like, I feel great, maybe I can compete and then I sat up and I was like, there's no way. 69 kilo class from the Tsumisumi Chores, yeah. Emily Mwaz. <laughs> That's where
I missed one of my lifts, so I got five out of six. So for my first lift, I mean me, uh, I thought I did pretty good. To make it to winter lift, I actually need 115 combined. Um, and right now I'm sitting at 89, so I have until February 2015 to make it up to 115, so I'm actually really excited to, to do that because I have a pretty good chance of making it. For me, it's not about competitive because I've never really been competitive my whole life. I do like to win, don't get me wrong. I do like to qualify, for instance. Um, but for me, it's more of a mental, mental and physical challenge. It's not just about like lifting a weight or stuff like that. It's so much more than that. It's, it's about loving yourself and loving your body. And I think that through fitness, that is the best way that you can, you can do that because when you stop thinking about that weight on a scale and you stop thinking about that food that you're putting into your body and you just think about doing your best in the gym and getting stronger physically, mentally, um, I think that all around you succeed in life.